Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lichens are among the most common enemies that Ethan Winters will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil 8 Village. Pack hunters with ferocious speed and strength, these mangy mutated humans have all but eradicated the people of the small Eastern European village that Ethan finds himself in during the search for his missing daughter, Rose. Fabled creatures of legend made reality through Miranda's Caddo experimentation, these brutal killers have essentially become Miranda's de facto army. Perfect soldiers with near human levels of intelligence and a dog like obedience to their master's wishes. <sighs> The story of the Lycans as we know it begins with a woman named Miranda and the loss of her beloved child, Eva. In 1919, a disease known as the Spanish Flu was at the height of its devastation, killing millions and leaving the world left for those remaining in utter despair. And it would be during this disease's reign that a young girl of only 10 would succumb to the virus. This death would deeply affect the girl's mother, and in her despair, the woman would venture into a nearby cave to find a quiet place to end her life. This woman's name was Miranda. However, when she ventured inside, what she found changed not only her immediate plans, but the course of her life forever. Inside the cave, Miranda found a giant fungal root, which she called the Megamycete. And when she touched the blackened substance, it flooded her mind with overwhelming knowledge. She learned that this incredible root had the capabilities to break down and absorb the consciousness of those who had perished, and that if she could find the right vessel suitable for her daughter's needs, it was possible that she could bring her back to life. With new purpose, Miranda left the cave bringing with her mold from the Megamycete, and would begin experimenting with the people of her village, desperate to find what she needed to bring back her beloved Eva. Through hard work and determination, Miranda would create a parasite which she called a Cadzo, and with it would begin testing the affinity of the villagers in an attempt to find someone capable of becoming Eva's host. And it would be from these Caddo experiments that the Lycan would be born. <laughs> Miranda would take this Caddo parasite and introduce it into the bodies of her test subjects. Those with very low or no affinity for bonding with the parasite would be killed. However, the bulk of her experiments would result in a change to the subject's genetic makeup, causing the host to transform into a lichen. These creatures were little more than failures in the eyes of Miranda beings with far too little affinity to ever be suitable to revive her lost daughter. And so, once their transformations were complete, they would be exiled from the village, cast out so as to keep the other village lab rats safe until Miranda had need of them. Over the course of decades, hundreds of lichen would be created from Miranda's experiments, sent to live on the outskirts of the village in the ruins of an abandoned medieval fort, living lives totally in service to their master mother Miranda, who presumably kept them as security in case the day would ever come when she would have need of their ranks. 
Lichens are the main enemies that Ethan will encounter throughout his journey, killing hundreds of the beasts as they attack him in swarms. Lichens are crafty enemies who know that their strength comes from their sheer numbers, preferring to hunt in groups and attack with whatever they can get their hands on. And though they may be seen as failures to the cause of the person who created them, they are far from useless when it comes to dealing with any unfortunate souls who may find themselves in the lands of the pack. No! 